Have you been looking for a designer wallet or card holder that isn't Louis Vuitton or Chanel? So today I'm going to be unboxing and rating 20 different card holders and mini wallets for you. Hi my loves, welcome back. So today's video is going to be super informative, really exciting, and I'm really going to be unboxing 20 different card holders. It's not clickbait. So you've been looking for a card holder or a mini wallet, this is the video for you. And I'm so excited because I have been able to get these 20 different card holders because this video I am working with Louisa Roma, which you guys know I have worked with for years now. Now I did a video in the past where I ranked 10 bags under $1,000. So likewise, so many of you loved that concept and I've applied it to card holders. But this time around, I've got 20 for you. They're under $500 USD. Actually, a lot of them are even under $350 USD. But I wanted to do that concept for you again because it's not often you get to see so many different card holders in one video. So thank you so much to Louisa Roma for letting me borrow these. And it did take a little bit of convincing, but I do have them for you, I'm so excited. And not only that, stay tuned to the end of this video because I have a giveaway for you. So don't miss out on that. So let's get right into the video. I've got them all here. I'm gonna tell you my honest thoughts, what I like, what I don't like, my first impressions. So let's get to unboxing them now. So let's start off with Salvatore Ferragamo. So it comes in a little box. I will also do close-ups. And this card holder here is in a beautiful sort of apple green with the Gancini logo here. Now, just to respect these samples, I'm not gonna put any of my cards in there, but this is the same setup as my YSL card holder, which you guys know I love. But I wanted to showcase card holders that you guys maybe not have seen before or no one talks about them here on YouTube. Like I said, it's like my YSL one. It's got one, two, two slots up the front, two slots out the back, and then the center compartment, you can fit cards in there. So very basic sort of structure. This is in a very durable sort of leather, sort of like Epsom leather. It's very, very durable. Now this one here, I picked this because I just love this green. Isn't it such a pretty color? And I don't think Ferragamo gets enough uh, recognition. I love their belts. I actually don't own any of their SLGs. It's sort of sturdy but soft. So this one, first impressions is it's pretty good. The only thing I wished um, is that it came with a dust cover. I always like it when card holders come with their own little dust cover. So that's just a little, little con, but otherwise I quite like it. Okay, next up is a brand some of you may have heard of, some of you may not have heard of, but I have been quite intrigued by this brand. So I definitely wanted to pick one of their SLGs. It's from a brand called Velextra. And the first thing I notice is I like the shape of the box, it's nice and curved. Do you know what? I got so excited wanting to unbox all these 20 different wallets for you that I completely forgot to tell you. I have got you guys an exclusive discount code as well. Totally forgot, and this is so important. You guys get 20% off all full price items from Louisa Roma. So you just have to input my code MIM20 and that entitles you to 20% off. Yes, that is my exclusive code. I worked really hard to get that for you because at the moment I believe they only have 10%. But anyway, mine's 20%, but it's only valid for three days only. So it ends of this Sunday. So if you're looking for anything, make sure you use my code. I don't think it works on like Gucci or Moncler, but anyway, all the brand exclusions I will put down below. I think Velextra may not be included, but this is well under $500. So let me show you. This one, I'm pleased to say, does come with a dust bag in that curved shape. 
I like that. I'm a bit of an attention to details person, so I do like that. I don't know, I just think it's nice coming with a dust bag and the dust bag feels really quite you know thick and good quality so Velextra uh, products are actually made in Italy this is also very similar to Hermes Epsom or Prada Saffiano it is a pressed leather so it's stamped on so that makes it very durable this one has one two three slots in the front so different from my YSL, you will find that most card holder layouts is, you know, two cards in the front. You don't wanna to shove too much in your card holders, but let's say two in the front, two at the back, and then you can fit, you know, another couple of cards in cash here. So that's the same layout as the Ferragamo one. But with the Velextra one, there is three. One, two, three and one, two, three at the back, but it doesn't have that center compartment where you can, you know, put additional cards in there. Another thing that I really like about this first impressions is that it's got that little triangular detail. So it's not just, you know, one straight horizontal line. I think that adds a little bit of detail having those two things in there. So I really like that. Now this is in black, but it does come in another two other colors. I believe like gray and a blue, which is beautiful. So I really quite like that. If you're looking for a card holder, that's just a little bit different. Super low key. You can't see any sort of branding. V, I just realized V, of course, V for Velextra. Okay, let's move to a Valentino. So when I was selecting all these card holders or wallets, I chose a mixture of card holders because let's face it, some of us are card holder people. We just we don't carry that many cards, but some of us want mini wallets. So this one here from Valentino, again, tick for having a dust bag, do like that. This is a mini wallet. And of course I had to choose it in red, a very Valentino signature color. It has got the classic rock studs. And if you look from the side as well, you know, it is, I wouldn't say it's really thick, but it's a decent, you know, thickness, but it's definitely a compact wallet. Now, if I open it up, this has card slots, so you could put, you know, card here, a card here, another two cards up here, and also cards up here. I really like that it's got a little coin compartment. Can you put your coins in there? And yes, of course, it has got a place for bills. So if you're the type of person that carries a few cards, likes to carry your coins and have, and not have your bills folded up, um, because you do have to shove that into a card holder, then this could be a really good option for you because, you know, it fits bills in there really well. So layout wise, I really like this Valentino. My only concern when I look at this is aesthetically the studs are beautiful, but I just wonder if it will scratch the inside of your bag. I'm not too concerned because most of my bags, I have, you know, organizers and stuff, but just bear that in mind. Let's move on to Loewe. Now you guys know I'm a huge fan of Loewe. I actually have a couple of products from Loewe. What's this one in? Again, dust bag. I think this might, yes, this is actually, I chose it from the men's section but all these wallets and card holders are unisex. But this one here was in the men's section and the first thing I noticed when you open this up is the smell of the leather on the Loewe. It is just scrumptious. It's like, I don't know, just really nice. So this one here, you've got the beautiful, gorgeous tan. Loewe is known for their tan and then black. Black and tan is such a classy combination. I think this is really nice. It feels so soft. Again, it's just got one, two um, slots there and behind one, two, and then it's got the center compartment. Really soft, a mixture of grained leather and smooth leather. And also it's got the embossed Loewe uh, logo here. I really like this. I actually think hubby would really like this as well. So if you've got, you know, someone to buy this for, I think anyone would like this. So I think that might go in my, I really like pile. Let's do something fun. Let's, it's from the label Jacquemus and I'll show you. So in here, I actually don't own anything from this brand, but I did pick something super fun because it was in their accessories slash wallet category. 
and you know they're known for their teensy wincy bags but I wanted to pick something a little bit more practical but that's all the rage. Every sort of designer brand are sort of putting chains or straps on their card holders and you know people are wearing them as mini bags. So besides choosing the traditional card holder, the mini wallets, I thought let's pick a couple of these and of course I had to pick one from Jacquemus. This one here, I picked it in a fun pink. It is in a croc print. Uh, it is in leather. So if I open it up, let's have a look. It definitely will fit, you know, a credit card, lots of credit cards in there, no problem. As you can see, it actually has two specific card slots actually. Jacomus is made in Spain. So there's actually, I will do a close up, one pocket here and then another two little pockets, which is sort of like the what concept when they have those, you know, slots for, you know, your credit cards or a card. And this does come with you know, a shoulder strap, and this is not adjustable, but I did like that it had that little bit of wood detail here. I think that makes it look more expensive than it is. So if you're looking for a card holder or wallet, but you wanna double it up as a bag as well, this is an option, and this is at a really good price. Plus when you use my 20% off discount code, works out really well. Okay, next, let's move on to Roger Vivier. Now, I have talked about this uh, brand a bit. It's been on my wish list because I want to get some shoes from them. And they also do make bags and SLGs. They're much more known for their shoes. But when I saw this, this is completely fun. This is for those of you that want something bright, bling, and let me open it up. Okay, first thing first, it does not come with a dust bag, which I kind of think it should because this one is priced a bit higher. I thought that I wasn't gonna include this one, but guess what? This one is actually reduced at the moment. So it comes in just under the $500 USD mark. Also, by the way, the MIM 20 only works on full price. It doesn't work on sale, but this luckily has just been reduced. So they don't usually get reduced, but again, what I love about this is I'm a big fan of the croc embossed print. So that's number one, which I like. How fun is this silver? If you don't wanna go for metallics in bags, go for fun in your mini wallets or SLGs. That's the best way to incorporate color. And another thing that I absolutely love is this buckle. I mean, look at this square buckle. This buckle is very synonymous with Roger Vivier. You will find it on a lot of their shoes. And you know, you can even hang it as a little bag charm. So this is detachable, which I do like. And can I just say, this is weighty. This is actually really nice weight. Open it up. Let me just take this out. Inside is all leather lined. Wow, it's really soft. Made in Italy. So inside it is just very plain, just one compartment. So I would envision that you can just, you know, fit five or six different cards there and then just close it up. I'm a big fan of, you know, snap button card holders. I own a lot of Chanel. But when I was looking at my, you know, SLG or card holder collection, I'm like, you know what? I want to try you know, other brands. Hence the whole theme of this video because I'm doing some research myself. So anyway, this is kind of cool. I do like the buckle the best and you know, I love me a metallic. So if you wanted something metallic, this may be an option for you. Let's move on to Stella McCartney. Now this is for all my vegan lovers out there. As you know, um, in my wishlist video, I told you this year that I also wanted to try more sustainable brands. So of course in this card holder, mini wallet unboxing, I wanted to include something that was, you know, not leather as well, because there are definitely options out there in the marketplace. And the Stella McCartney one also comes with a dust bag. Pretty big dust bag, actually. And this is her famous um, style. It is called, excuse my pronunciation, I believe it is called the Falabella. 
and it is signature Stella McCartney. I mean, this comes in so many different sizes. This is obviously the latest size in the mini tiny card holder version, but this has been around for like 10 years, I believe. Like ages and you know the biggest size and everything you've seen it on celebrities and everything anyway i wanted to choose that style because it's very iconic and it's vegan leather you know stella mccartney is known to have you know cruelty free leather and everything that she stands for the sustainability and everything so i really respect that so i wanted to give you guys one option now this feels quite luxurious actually and the chain the chain weight is very light i do need to say it doesn't feel very weighty i like to have a bit of weight in my chains but let's have a look at the inside so inside is Oh, I like that inside's got all the Stella McCartney lining, actually has Stella McCartney lining. All her bags are made in Italy, actually. So it's very soft, super soft, very supple. And because it's got so much give, I reckon this could fit easily at least 10 different cards. Plus it's got another slot at the back. So I actually really like it. I like this as a vegan option. I like that it's her signature style. You can wear it, you know, as a little crossbody bag. My only thing is that it would have been cute if somehow they could have attached this chain and make it um, detachable. I always like the option of a detachable chain. That would have been a bit better for me if I had to be nitpicky. So that is an option there for all my vegan lovers. Moving on to Versace. So tick Versace, you have got a nice dust bag and in here, I picked a very simple card holder. Oh, it's just got fluff from the dust bag. And this one here just has the V. So you would have seen this V logo. It's quite intricate actually, sort of like floral design. It's got floral, it's got a little leaf, and you've seen it on their bags. It's sort of like their new V logo. Again, same, you know, setup as my YSL. You can tell it's a bit smaller. And so you've got two, you can fit two cards in the front, two cards at the back, and you know, it's got that center compartment as well. Now this one is in very smooth leather. So if you tend to be very rough on your card holders, that may be a consideration for you. And this Versace one, surprisingly, I think the price less 20%. This, this is one of the ones that is like under 250, I believe. So price point wise, I think that's a big tick. And design wise, I just think it is really quite simple, but classy with the single V. Okay, let's move on to one of my favorite brands and probably one of yours as well, Saint Laurent. And this is not a card holder. You guys know I love this card holder. I totally recommend it. But I wanted to check out one of their newest styles that they released, a mini wallet. Because personally, I'm looking for a mini wallet. Now, with my code, it doesn't apply to Saint Laurent. So just bear that in mind. But if it does, or if I know any others, I will leave them down below. Because it's really weird. Sometimes with Louisa V. Aromas, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. But anyway... This one here, it is a bit bigger than the standard mini size wallet. Just to show you comparison wise, can you see that is a bit bigger, but it is really thin, which I do like. I love the Chevron. I love YSL's sort of caviar like leather and I really like the layout. So if you're a person that really has more cards, kind of like me, then this would be perfect for you because you've got four and four and then you can store things in here you've got this space here for notes and you've even got a little space here for coins so when i saw this layout i'm like oh i might have to get that so if you've been looking for a compact wallet this is a really good one and i can attest that you know ysl i shouldn't do that on here ysl it's so resistant I mean, I love this one. I wish they did more neon colors again. But anyway, this one, I believe it comes in a couple of colors as well. Okay, so let's move on to DNG. Now, I wanted to see what the quality of this one was like because this was a really good price point as well. I believe like under 225 or something like that. So let me open it up. This one is not exactly a dust bag, but there is some sort of dust cover, which is still a plus. And this, 
again, I did like it because it is in that Saffiano or that Epsom type of leather, so super durable. Same sort of setup as the YSL. You'll find that most card holders are sort of set up that way. And it's just got that really nice bling DNG. So very simple, but I think this colorway was really nice and the price point was a plus as well. So pink lovers out there, this could be an option for you. Now let's move on to a brand that I actually I've heard of. I don't own anything from the brand, but it's, it's called Manu Atelier. I think I'm pronouncing that right. And this is another sort of cute little bag slash SLG. It was in their wallet section. So I wanted to try it out. How cute. Now, first thing first, I like the fact that this strap, this little chain strap is detachable. You know why? Because it gives you versatility. You could take this off and put it onto another one of your mini bags, like your mini pochette, for example, or really anything that you can attach things on. So I really like that. And I actually really like the combination of gold and silver. So I wanted to see what this was like because let's see if it can just fit, you know, a card in there, definitely. Like no problem, you could fit a lot of cards actually in their cash, even your AirPods. So I think that's really quite good. Now in here as well, it even comes, which I thought was really good. It even comes with another leather strap that is detachable. So I'm quite impressed with the versatility of this. This one so far for me in terms of the little mini bag concept, you know, you can use these straps for, you know, your other pieces, which I really like. So that's quite worth it. And then, as I said, you put my 20, get the 20% off. It's pretty good. Mini bag, card holder, and you can use the chains for other things as well. Okay, how are we going, guys? Now, you have to excuse the lighting because the sun's kind of going down. So if the lighting's changing, that's the reason why. Let's move on to another brand. Now, Alexander McQueen sort of re-sparked my interest. Generally, they make beautiful ready-to-wear pieces. And actually, their pieces are quite feminine. And I've seen sort of like their bags kind of changing. But as we know, Alexander McQueen, what's synonymous with them? Oh, I love this dust bag. This dust bag's really nice, actually. The new sort of rose logo at the back. I wouldn't say new, but okay. Look at this green. Of course, when I saw this color, this emerald green, you know me, I love emerald green. I thought I've got to see this. Croc embossed leather, and of course their signature skull, but it's not too, you know, over the top. It's just one little skull there. But then if you flip it over, you see Alexander McQueen embossed there as well. And I really like that. Actually, a little details like this make a difference. So again, same setup as the YSL, but if you turn it around, it's slightly different. It's actually got the middle layer is actually in black leather. So you've got the green and then the black and it's got a little peak here. So that little detail I really quite like. And then inside, this is just the care booklet and made in Italy. You can just tell that it's actually really quite a quality product. And again, I think this is pretty well priced as well. Um, I believe under 250 or 270. So it comes in a lot of colors, but this color just makes my heart sing. So if you want this emerald green color, this is, this is quite nice. Let's move on to what's in here. So this was just came in a Louisa V Aroma bag. But I did want to see what this was like. And this is another mini compact wallet. It is from Tory Birch. Now, a lot of you um, have asked me in the past, Mel, what do you think of Tory Birch or Coach products? And I actually really like their products, but nothing's really sparked my interest that much. So this wallet is a snap button closure. Inside, you've just got, it's quite standard with, you know, two slots here, two slots here for credit cards. Again, great that you've got that compartment for your uh, notes. 
And then I also like that the back has got the zip pocket so that you can put coins in there. I always think that's an added bonus when, you know, a mini wallet has got those three features. I also like that it's got that little detail, this little buckle detail with the T in the front. So even though it is Tory Burch, just say your name starts with T. I always think it's nice having that as well. Sometimes I like to pretend when brands have got like M, like Moina. I'm like, well, M can be for Moina, M can be for Mel. <laughs> so just another consideration. So this Tory Burch wallet, it is in smooth leather as well. So smooth leather, as we know, you know, is not as durable as a grained leather, but I think layout wise, price wise, quite nice. I didn't really like the fact that this, this is the only one I think that didn't come in its own bag or its own dust bag. It just came in a Louisa V Aroma dust bag. So I think they could have improved on the packaging. But then again, I'm a bit of a sucker for packaging. Okay, so we are gonna to move to a very interesting brand. I have not heard of this brand before and I wanted to, I was just intrigued because of this. Let me show you. So, <laughs> this is the bag it comes in. First of all, I kinda like this bag. I think it's just nylon drawstring, but it's very arty. I don't know, I really appreciate things like that. I think that's really cool. Now look at this. This again was the whole get a card holder and put a chain on it. Now this chain, I don't know if you guys can just tell from the noise, it is heavy. Like, whoa, this is heavy. I didn't expect it to be this heavy. So I guess that's good and bad. I think it's a little bit too weighty where the Stella McCartney one was a bit too light for my liking. This is like, this is chunky, but my gripe with this, uh, you know, brand. Oh, I totally forgot to tell you the brand. It is Cara from New York. Now, love the chunky chain. One side is detachable, but the other side is not detachable. Like, why? All you need to do is make, put a little clippy thing at the end, and then it would be so cool. Like I may even get this just for the chunky silver chain because you could use it on one of your bigger bags. And I also really like this bright color. You will find that in the Cara ranges, I think it might just have gone on sale because Louisa Roma just did a whole lot of new reductions with just happened. Anyway, I like that they've got fun colors because you know me, I love colors. And for those of you that like zippy card holders, hold on, let me take this off. You've actually also got to take this off before you can undo it. Sorry for all the noise. So you zip it and then inside, yeah, it is just one big open compartment, but it does have one slip pocket here. Here, there's one slip pocket there. So yeah, it's just, oh no, I, no, there's two. So you could slot, you know, your, your cards in there, not a problem. You can fit a decent number of cards because it does open wide. Like the color, like the concept, but the weight of the chain, in my opinion, should be a little bit less. And if they made this detachable, it would be so cool. But I have to give them points for this, you know, very creative dust bag. It's not everyone's cup of tea, but I think it's really cool with all the different labels. I just realized there's actually four. Like how cool is that? One, two, three, four. It's just, I don't know. I just, I think that's really cool. But anyway, it's really good to explore new brands and this was a new one for me. So thought I would, you know, order it and show you guys as well. Okay, next up is something from Gucci. Now I do know Gucci is excluded from my code. Gucci's actually always excluded, but I did actually purchase this myself. So this is not, the rest of the stuff is borrowed, which I need to return by the way, <laughs> guys. I forgot to say, all this I need to return back to LVR. But this one I did purchase for my sister as a gift and I'll show you what it is because this option is definitely under $500. And if you wanted something in this color, sky blue is my favorite color or baby blue. How pretty is the Gucci Marmont card case? 
So I really liked it with the silver this time. I think it looked really fresh. I love the chevron. My sister's favorite color is also blue. So when I saw this, I knew it would be perfect for her. But then again, you know, when I saw this, I thought, oh my gosh, this is so nice. I wonder in my upcoming 250 giveaway, would you guys like this as a second prize? I'm thinking first prize, let's do a designer bag. But then I want more winners. So maybe this one I will do as the second prize. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. But this, as I said, I just love the color, love the design, good price point as well for Gucci. I believe it's like 275 or something. Okay, next, let's move on to Givenchy. Now, I do really like Givenchy's product and in here was so cute. Since I was talking about blue, is this or is this not the cutest thing ever? How cute is this? So this is called, I think it's called the Baby Antigona. I'm a huge fan of the Antigona. I have it in the small. It's one of my favorite work bags. And so when I saw this in this baby blue color, I thought, I've never seen it in real life, but let's have a look. Let's order it and check it out together. So it's in the shape. Obviously it doesn't have the handles, but it's got the zipper. It's in the shape of the Antigona. And inside is just in fabric. No sort of card slots, but you can definitely fit a card in there. Oh yes, definitely. You can fit a few cards in there and cash and everything. So for those of you looking for like a mini bag, this is so cute. And I really like, as I said, this is detachable as well. So you can detach the chain. This to me, okay, out of all the chains, this is a really nice weight. This is thin, but it feels like it's got some weight to it. And additionally, they even have this as well. This one is not detachable, but if you wanted to take this chain off and just say you had a medium or a small Antigona and you wanted to ha hang the little baby with the mummy, I mean, that's so cute. I'm a, I'm a sucker for a little baby bag and a little mummy bag. My MIM20 works on that as well. Again, I think this comes in a few colors. So how cute is that? So next up is something from Burberry, but for some reason, the one that I ordered didn't come, but that's okay. I have a Burberry card holder to show you. This is mine. There is actually an updated version. It doesn't look like this, but it's very similar layout, you know, with the two and it's got the Burberry checked. But I wanted to mention that because Burberry is included in my um, discount code, my MIM20 discount code. And again, these are priced really well. I think after my discount, it's like less than 200 USD. So I wanted to mention that. I'll link a couple below as well because there are updated versions of this and it's just, really classic and classy. Next is another one from Ferragamo. And let me show you this. Now this one didn't also come with any, you know, dust bag, but I ordered this one because it was another option for a compact wallet. Now, besides the Gancini design, which I showed you here, this is, this logo is on a lot of their bags. Likewise, this bow detail is also on a lot of their bags, on their shoes. I think the bag that's really popular, I think that's called the Vara bag. But anyway, this mini wallet, I liked this detail. It is a snap button closure. You just open it up. Inside has you know, one, two, three, you can put some credit cards there or cards there and then here. And then if I take this little bit out, it also has, yes, a little coin compartment, which I said was always a must. And then here is for your notes. So I know a lot of you are after mini wallets as well. So I wanted to give you a variety from different brands. This one here is in that really durable leather as well. Okay, on the home stretch, another one is from Loewe. I picked this one because it is just so cool. Very different to anything I've seen before. I have seen this in store, but it is just too cute for words. So this is called the heel pouch. Now, this is like a mini, mini bag. It's probably more like you could, I mean, I reckon guys also just wear it as an accessory, like a necklace. 
and they come in a few different sizes like this is obviously the mini mini micro one but the small a bigger one and how you open it is like this so you open it up and look honestly it does actually not fit that much but I just love Loewe's quality okay now for the test does it fit a card I actually don't think it does I'm not exactly sure what's going to fit in there okay no it doesn't fit a card and does it fit it this way no okay so usability wise probably not so good cuteness wise craftsmanship wise big tick came with a dust bag I really like it but if you want to go for this probably should have tried the slightly bigger size because then at least you can fit some cards in there because I don't know what you would fit in this but it was good to test anyway wasn't it and lucky last I have something from Balenciaga and this box is actually really nice yay came with a dust bag and this one I really wanted to see because this looked super compact now this is also a mini wallet but this one is like tinsy like look at the difference between the sizes hold on look so you know how I was showing you all the different compact wallets. That's the difference in terms of size. It's thicker though, but it's sort of like the size of a card holder. It's very similar size to the card holder. It's just a lot fatter. But I do like that they have that option. And of course I had to pick one in the classic sort of motorcycle style because Balenciaga is known for that bag. So this one here has got the little zip, which you wouldn't really use for anything. Can you even unzip that? Yes, you can. It does work. And then you open it up and this part here, oh, it's so soft. This part here, obviously you can put cards in there, but here you open it up and it just folds up like, unfolds like this. And then, but it's got no, you can't put any cards or anything in there. But then this is the space to put your notes in. But actually behind it, it is split into three. So you see how at the back they've put these little cards in there. You can actually slot a card, a card, and then notes. So I like that. Clever Balenciaga, clever. I like that. So it is a very, very compact wallet. It's really tinsy tiny. Again, in a really nice thick grained leather, not like the Epson. This is like a calf leather. It's quite thick. I quite like it. It's a little bit fat for my liking, but size wise, big tip. Okay, so those were all the different 20 card holders. I am just so excited to discover new brands and even you know, give you guys my first impression. I know it was a long video, but I hope you found it informative. So now the exciting part. So I have teamed up with Louisa Villaroma. The giveaway is that one of you will be getting a $350 USD Louisa Villaroma uh, gift card, which you can use to spend on anything you want. And like I said, I would say 80% of these card holders, maybe more, are under the 350 mark. So the instructions are super easy. I'm just keeping it YouTube only. All you need to do is one, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Secondly, I like this video and don't forget to click the notification bell and select all notifications. And number three, comment below out of all the different you know wallets and card holders i've shown you in today's video what is your favorite comment that down below and don't forget to leave your email or your ig name so it's easy to contact you if you win i'm just going to leave this giveaway open for two weeks short and sweet and then I will update the winner's name in the description bar of this video and pin it to the comments as well. Giveaway is open worldwide and that is it. Super, super simple. And also guys, don't forget to use my exclusive code, um, which is just MIM20. You enter that at checkout. All the links to the card holders will be linked down below with my code. And remember, it's only valid for three days. So make sure you make use of it um, if you wanted a card holder. But honestly, if you wanted anything from the brands, it applies to Burberry, Valentino, Ferragamo, Givenchy, Tory Burch, a lot of the things, Jacquemus, the things I've shown you. And any exclusions, I'll leave down below. In summary, because I did say I would sort of kind of mini rate it these are my favorites just for me personally 
This one, I love the color. I actually want to get one for you. This one, Loewe, you know I'm a huge fan. I want to get that for hubby. The Lextra, not in the black, but I'm really interested in trying this in a different color because I don't own anything from this brand. Okay, this one, I have to admit, this is purely for color reason and it feels really nice as well, this Alexander McQueen one. And YSL, what can I say? It's one of my favorite brands and I have been looking at a mini wallet. So I will be using my own code as well and doing a little bit of shopping. So those were sort of my faves and I'm, you know, considering buying. So my least favorite was the Loewe heel pouch only because you can't really fit anything in there. I also, it's a shame, but I don't love this Cara one because the chain is too heavy and it's not detachable. If it was detachable, that would have changed my mind. And I wasn't in love with the Tory Burch one. The, the quality just doesn't feel as good as some of the others. But honestly, with all the others, I actually don't mind them. It just depends on your needs. Are you looking for a card holder or a mini wallet or a little bag concept? There is actually pros and cons to all of them, but that's just like a sort of mini review on each first impression. So those are my thoughts. So thank you so much for watching guys. Have a wonderful day or night and I will see you in my next video. Bye.